Welcome to ABE Tutorials. In this video, let us have a short quiz to test your knowledge on Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standards No. 2, 1, 6, 2017. Otherwise known as, General Irrigation Terminologies. I will read the questions twice before I will reveal the answer. We begin with, Question No. 1. Areas open for public entry such as golf courses, public and private parks, playgrounds, schoolyards and playing fields, residential landscapes and industrial park landscapes. Again, areas open for public entry such as golf courses, public and private parks, playgrounds, schoolyards and playing fields, residential landscapes and industrial park landscapes. The answer is, access areas. Question number 2. Volume of water stored in reservoir between the minimum water level and normal water level. Again, volume of water stored in reservoir between the minimum water level and normal water level. The answer is, active storage. Question number 3. Rate of evapotranspiration equal or smaller than predicted crop evapotranspiration is affected by the level of available soil water salinity, field size or other causes. Again, rate of evapotranspiration equal to or smaller than predicted crop evapotranspiration is affected by the level of available soil water, salinity, field size or other causes. The answer is, actual crop evapotranspiration. Question number 4. Rise in maximum flood level from the original unobstructed flood level which result after an obstruction to the flow such as a dam, has been introduced. Again, rise in maximum flood level from the original unobstructed flood level which result after an obstruction to the flow such as a dam, has been introduced. The answer is, afflux elevation. Question number 5. Overgrowths of algae in water producing dangerous toxins in fresh or marine water. Again, overgrowths of algae in water producing dangerous toxins in fresh or marine water. The answer is, algal bloom. Question number 6. Ratio of the average depth of irrigation water infiltrated and stored in the root zone to the average depth of irrigation water applied. Again, Ratio of the average depth of irrigation water infiltrated and stored in the root zone to the average depth of irrigation water applied. The answer is, application efficiency. Question number 7. Geologic formation which contains water and transmits it at a rate sufficient to be economically developed for pumping artificially developed well. Again. Geologic formation which contains water and transmits it at a rate sufficient to be economically developed for pumping artificially developed well. The answer is, aquifer. Question number 8. Cross-sectional area of the flow which is measured perpendicular to the direction of flow. Again, cross-sectional area of the flow which is measured perpendicular to the direction of flow. The answer is, areas. Question number 9. Field that is level in all directions, encompassed by a dike to prevent runoff, and provides an undirected flow of water onto the field. Again, field that is level in all directions, encompassed by a dike to prevent runoff, and provides an undirected flow of water onto the field. The answer is, basin. Question number 10. Type of surface irrigation where water is applied to the basin through a gap in the perimeter dike or adjacent ditch, water is retained until it infiltrates into the soil or the excess is drained off. Again, type of surface irrigation where water is applied to the basin through a gap in the perimeter dike or adjacent ditch, water is retained until it infiltrates into the soil or the excess is drained off. The answer is, basin irrigation. Question number 11. Maximum average contact pressure between the foundation and the soil which should not produce shear failure in the soil. Again, maximum average contact pressure between the foundation and the soil which should not produce shear failure in the soil. 
The answer is, bearing capacity. Question number 12. Method of irrigation which makes use of parallel border strips where the water flows down the slope at a nearly uniform depth. Again, method of irrigation which makes use of parallel border strips where the water flows down the slope at a nearly uniform depth. The answer is, border irrigation. Question number 13. Area of land bounded by two border ridges or dikes that guide the irrigation stream from the inlet point of application to the ends of the strip. Again, area of land bounded by two border ridges or dikes that guide the irrigation stream from the inlet point of application to the ends of the strip. The answer is, border strip. Question number 14. Inclination or elevation drop per unit length of the channel bottom. Again, inclination or elevation drop per unit length of the channel bottom. The answer is, channel bed slope. Question number 15. Groundwater that is confined by relatively impermeable layer. Again, groundwater that is confined by relatively impermeable layer. The answer is, confined aquifer. Question number 16. Introduction of substances not found in the natural composition of water that make the water less desirable or unfit for intended use. Again, introduction of substances not found in the natural composition of water that make the water less desirable or unfit for intended use. The answer is, contamination. Question number 17. Ratio between water received at the inlet for a block of fields to that released at the project's headwork. Again, ratio between water received at the inlet for a block of fields to that released at the project's headwork. The answer is, conveyance efficiency. Question number 18. Loss of water from a channel during transport due to seepage and percolation. Again, Loss of water from a channel during transport due to seepage and percolation. The answer is, conveyance loss. Question number 19. Depth of water flow where the energy content is at minimum hence, no other backwater forces are involved. Again, depth of water flow where the energy content is at minimum hence, no other backwater forces are involved. The answer is, critical depth. Question number 20. Ratio of the actual crop evapotranspiration to its potential evapotranspiration. Again, ratio of the actual crop evapotranspiration to its potential evapotranspiration. The answer is, crop coefficient. That ends our quiz on Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standards number 2, 1, 6, 2017. Like, share and subscribe for more.